Earth is lucky, our atmosphere, proximity to the sun, and countless other beautiful coincidences, not only allow living things to survive, but also evolve on this planet. And here we are, sitting at our desks and walking down the street like it isn't some kind of extraordinary miracle. But all good things must come to an end. One day Earth will be inhospitable to any life as we know it. The life on this planet likely won't cease until billions of years from now. But, it could also happen tomorrow, or 100 years from now. Here are some ways scientists believe the Earth could die. Earth's molten core might cool. Earth is surrounded by a protective magnetic shield, called the magnetosphere. The field is generated by Earth's rotation, which swirls a thick shell of liquid iron and nickel around a solid ball of metal, creating a giant electric dynamo. The magnetosphere deflects energetic particles that emanate from the sun, changing its size and shape as it's hit. The resulting flood of high-energy particles that slam into Earth's air can trigger beautiful auroras or sometimes disruptive geomagnetic storms. But if the core cools, we will lose our magnetosphere and also our protection from solar winds, which would slowly blast our atmosphere into space. Mars was once rich with water and a thick atmosphere, suffered the same fate billions of years ago, leading to the nearly airless, seemingly lifeless world we know today. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. The sun could start to die. The sun and our position relative to it is perhaps the most important trees in the earth is habitable. But the sun is still a star. And stars die. Right now, the sun is midway through its life, steadily converting hydrogen into helium through fusion. But that won't last forever. Billions of years from now, the sun will run low on hydrogen and start fusing helium. It's a more energetic reaction and will push the sun's layers outward and possibly start pulling Earth toward the sun. We'd be incinerated and then vaporized. Or the sun's expansion would push Earth out of its orbit. The Earth will die frozen as a rogue planet, untethered to any star and drifting through cold space. Asteroids could bombard the planet. Rocks from space can be pretty destructive, a big one wiped out the dinosaurs, though it would take a lot of asteroids to properly dispatch the entire planet. Still, it could happen. Earth was heavily bombarded by asteroids for millions of years after it was formed. The impacts were so intense that the oceans boiled for a full year. All life was single-celled at that point, and only the most heat-tolerant microbes made it. Today's larger life forms almost certainly wouldn't make it. Air temperatures could reach more than 900 degrees Fahrenheit for several weeks if we suffered a similar asteroid strike. A rogue planet could hit Earth. A rogue planet is a planet that does not orbit a star directly. Planets often get kicked out of their solar systems during formation. A drifting world could directly hit us. And it is totally possible. About 4.5 billion years ago, a small planet crashed into a larger planet in the solar system, which formed Earth and its moon. A new collision would similarly send debris flying all over the solar system and melt Earth. And while the new planet would eventually reform and cool down, it most likely won't be habitable. Earth could pass too close to a wandering black hole. Black holes might be Hollywood's second favorite form of planet death. It's easy to see why. They're as mysterious as they are frightening. We don't know much about them, but we do know they're so dense that not even light can escape beyond a black hole's event horizon. And scientists think recoiled black holes are out there wandering through space, just like rogue planets. It's not inconceivable that one could pass through the solar system. A small black hole might harmlessly pass through Earth, though anything larger than mass of the moon would cause big problems. If light can't escape, Earth definitely won't. There are two ideas about what could happen after the point of no return, given a big enough rogue black hole. Beyond the event horizon, atoms might stretch until they're pulled apart entirely. Other physicists have theorized we'd run right into the end of the universe or end up in an entirely different one. Even if a recoiled black hole misses Earth, 
it might pass closely enough to cause earthquakes and other devastation, kick us out of the solar system, or spiral us into the sun.